the new mage cards got revealed. Uh, this one came out, like, at 5 in the morning, so obviously, I didn't... <laughs> who cares? Uh, yeah. 4 mana, 2, 5, Tail of the Lawn, Blood, Watch Blood Watcher, jeez, Legendary. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost 4 less, but not less than 1. So, this card's great. Not in wild, not in standard. You're never playing this. This card's, like, utterly unplayable. I'll get that out of the way now. But, not less than one. That card text is... Oh, man, thank you, Blizzard. Thank you, Blizzard, finally. Finally, we're getting not less than one on cards. Like, I'm so sick and tired of all these... Like, of zero-cost cards, dude. It's so annoying. It's just so annoying. Like, no one likes playing against decks that play 100 cards in one turn with no downside because all their cards just cost fucking no mana. Like, this card sucks, yeah, but, like, this wording... Thank you. Thank you, man. Reliquary Researcher. Uh, Battlecry. If you've excavated twice, cast two random se mage secrets. Uh, uh, yeah, this card sucks. Um, excavating in mage seems like it's gonna be really bad and wild. Like, the reward, we'll get to it in a little bit. The reward is not very good. And, like, these are the mage excavate cards. This is the new one. I'll go over it in a second. Uh, or like this. This card's six mana. Like, you're never playing this. Anyway, yeah, two, and two random mage secrets is also bad. It has a understated body. This card's unplayable. It, it's just really not very good. Wild. Uh, Overflow Surger, four mana, three two. Battle Cry. Summon a copy of this for each turn you played. Each turn you in a row you've played an elemental. Um. Why would you ever play this card? Uh, elemental Mage sucks already. And this card does nothing. Like, yeah, you'll maybe get a board from it, but it has two health. By the time this comes down in the game, your opponent can very easily deal with a two health board. Like, this card is horrible. This is, like, a genuinely terrible card. Like, like I don't know what they thought printing this would do. Like, if it was a 3-3, three, th uh, three, three, maybe, you know, because that's better. Right? But, oh my god, what, did they think people would play this card? Did they think this card is playable or something? I just don't get it. It's absolutely terrible. Unplayable. Uh, Cryo Preservation. Two mana, three is an enemy, excavate a treasure. Again, did they think people were pl gonna play this card? Play these cards? Like... What, why would you ever play this card? Uh, what's it called? Is zero mana freeze an enemy? Uh, like, freezing potion, and it sees no play. So this is plus two mana on freezing potion to get an okay card. Like, all these cards are, like, kind of good, kind of okay, but, like, you're never playing this. This card's bad. And the worst part is, is now that I'm going to get to the the, tr the legendary treasure, you'll understand why this card is bad. For wild, at least. Yikes, man. The Azerite Hawk. 4 mana, 5-5, five, five, get a random titan, it costs 1. So, the issue with this treasure is look at these excavate cards. All of the Excavate cards are bad. Like, that's just a fact. All of the Excavate cards are bad. This reward is pretty decent, don't get me wrong, but, like, they're, uh, you don't want to play any of these Excavate cards because they're so, so, so weak that, like, you have no reason to be playing Azerite Hawk by any means. Uh, obviously, you know, Azerite Hawk, it's not a collectible card, so I can't, I can't technically say it's unplayable, but I can say the Excavate package is unplayable in wild uh and this is like not a good payoff card for it in the slightest uh azerite vein secret when the enemy plays a card on the on the turn that 
<laughs> when the enemy plays a card on the turn that it entered their hand, get a copy that costs zero. What the fuck is this, dude? This is, like, one of the worst secrets ever printed, and it's an epic? I... This card is just bad. Like, like I don't know. Why would you ever play this card over Mana Bind? Yeah, why would you ever play this card over Mana Bind? Mana Bind is when your opponent casts a spell, add a copy of that to your hand. That costs zero. This is when the opponent plays a card that entered their hand, get a copy. That costs zero. What? The secret's, like, never going off, right? Unless they top deck the perfect card, and then if they top deck, like, a perfect card, that means they're more benefiting from it i don't i don't understand this card it's supposed to be like a counter to quick draw i think but it's bad like this is actually one of the worst secrets ever printed for all four classes like this is terrible oh my chat is that was weird yeah, this is, like, a bad card. Like, you should never be playing this card under any circumstances, man. Like, oh my god, this is bad. Heat Wave. Deal two damage to an enemy minion and its neighbors. Quick draw to all enemies instead. Fire spell two mana. So this card's unplayable in Wild Mage, don't get me wrong. You're never hard running this card, but I'm really pissed off about this card because it's just better than Bullet Shot and better than Grievous Bite in every possible way. And like, why did they, why do they do this? Why? Like, why does Mage just randomly get a card that's like better than two Hunter cards combined? Like, what is this? Why? I don't get it. Like, this card sucks for Mage, but like, why can't Hunter get this card? You know? I, I I just don't get it. Anyway, this card's unplayable and wild. Like it's it's pretty terrible for mages class. Uh Stargazing. Two mana arcane spell. Draw a different arcane spell. If you play it this turn, cast it cast twice. Uh this card really good. You're probably playing this in Quest Mage, all things considered. You can double up on your mana biscuits, you can double up on your like potion of illusion, stuff like that. This card's definitely good. Uh, does it make the cut in Quest Mage? Probably, I'd say. It's probably able to make the cut. Uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a good card. I don't really have much more to say about it. It'll probably see play. Sunset Volley. Deal 10 damage randomly split among all enemies. Summon a random 10-cost minion. Uh, in Standard, this, card's, this card is disgusting in Standard, right? Like, you get 8-8 like that. You get Amplified Elec, you get 8-8, eight, eight, you get 10-10, ten, ten, you get 11-11 11, 11 that your cards cost... Oh, they, he didn't update the Harpoon, but the cards cost 4 or less. You get 10-10 ten, ten Lifesteal, you get Nepshalon, you get 12-12, 12, 12, or you get an 8-8. Eight, eight. This card's crazy good in Standard. Like, if you can get to that point, which I think they should be able to... Uh, yeah... Yeah, this card's crazy good in standard. In wild, it's probably too slow. Like, you could play this off of something like Dragon Caster, which will be interesting. Uh, if I play this on turn 6 with Dragon Caster, that might be good enough, actually, all things considered. Because it turns Dragon Caster from a 6 mana 4 4 do, you know, Yogg Box to 6 mana 4 4 deal 10 damage randomly split and summon, you know, upwards of 8 8 stats because 10 drops have good, like, base stats. Uh, this card might not, or not, no, this card won't be playable in wild, like, in a good deck. I will definitely be playing this in, like, Dragon Mage, right? Stuff like that. Uh, it'll be fun in that deck, but, yeah, this card's unplayable in real decks in wild. Yeah, so tell me what you think. Think I'm right or wrong about any of these cards? Uh, I think Heat Wave should have gone to Hunter class, honestly, but, you know what? Screw me. Uh, Stargazing, this card's kind of actually pretty good and wild, I'll be honest. Uh, I really like it. Uh, a lot of the cards for Mage are just really uninteresting, I'll be honest. I really hate random. I really hate, you know, all this mana cheat, random, casino stuff they try to push for Mage. It fundamentally always sucks. It's always bad. 
or it's always broken and it's always always awful to play against no matter what you do and i i just i'm kind of sick of it i wish that they would start acknowledging what is a bad a bad archetype design wise for classes i wish they would start acknowledging that right uh they just won't do it they'll do it until people get so angry that they like complain to them and send them death threats like they i'm not saying people should send the devs death threats please god don't interpret that do not do that but what i'm saying is is that they fun they just don't understand that if they keep pushing bad archetypes over and over again that people don't like it's the warrior situation of 2022 all over again where warrior was terrible for like an entire year so and the devs just kept getting so much hate for it and like they're the ones that design these cards right it's not the players that decide to make bad cards like the devs do it's the devs that decide to make bad cards the devs that decide to make bad archetypes the, the devs that decide to root and they're the ones that decide to make cards that ruin the game right so i wish they would stop doing it and they understand what what kind of cards players like and a lot again this expansion they failed on that horribly for mage i and not looking forward to any of these mage cards whatsoever. Uh, all of them are all of them are pretty mediocre to begin with, too. But yeah, whatever. Just if you have any thoughts on any of these cards, tell me below. You know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'm just I'm just tired of the devs printing these horrible archetypes and expecting people to want to play them. Yeah.